My name's Jeff Rowley. I was born and raised in Liverpool, England. I currently reside in Long Beach, California, and I'm a proud American citizen. I'm a professional skateboarder, business owner, hunter, and family man. I attended last year's Sheep Show in Reno, Nevada for the first time. During the evening's event and banquet, I was overwhelmed by the people in attendance. Not only were they the most educated outdoorsmen that I have ever met, they were also the most active and passionate. The three-night event raised over six million dollars for wild sheep conservation through direct donations or the sale of specialty tags. I felt urged and obliged to do my part, and so I donated $15,000 to the foundation's Take One, Put One Back program. The donation was for a specific video project to expose the pneumonia that's already caused immense damage to a number of sheep herds across the United States. It's now spreading through our sheep range here in Southern California. The idea was that if I could document where the donation went and ultimately show how these donations are spent, it might shed some positive light on the role hunters and outdoorsmen play in wildlife conservation. And at the same time, educate people on the challenges of the disease in hopes that other people will want to help the plight through direct donations to the Wild Sheep Foundation. Conservation isn't talk, it's action. In 1974, um, a group of sheep hunters from the Midwest actually had a weekend gathering in a place called Mount Horeb, Wisconsin. They said, we've hunted sheep all over the world. We think it's time to put something back. To me, that's, that's conservation is when you put something back into the resource that you cherish. And so these guys had had great experiences around the world hunting sheep. And they said, how do we give back? We saw a real need to help in the conservation and management of wild sheep, not just in North America, but internationally as well. And so, you know, we are a strong conservation group, very pro hunting. Our motto, our purpose is to put and keep sheep on the mountain. You know, in a lot of these uh, pneumonia die-offs, 100% of a population can, can die. And it's, it's just a tragic but real facet of bighorn sheep management. And so it's incredibly significant and, and a huge challenge for wild sheep managers to avoid or minimize the chance of having a pneumonia problem. And so one of the biggest challenges uh, is how to keep them from getting these different bacteria that would cause pneumonia. In the desert, like in Nevada, California, Arizona, places like that, pneumonia hasn't really been a problem, but in the last two to five years, it has been. It's been documented there and documented in a lot of places. And so there's been a fairly significant loss in uh, those three states, Nevada, California, Arizona, from pneumonia. In the state of California, we've probably sold their desert big one tag maybe two dozen times through the years. And until about a year ago, 100% of the money generated would go back to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. And so we didn't keep anything off of that. It was the right thing to do to help California. And so we would auction that tag every year, and those revenues would go back to the state for their bighorn sheep program. And, you know, I can recall some years that the California tag has brought well over $100,000. And not every year, but many years that it has. And so, if you think about the number of hunting licenses for bighorn sheep that the state of California issues, it doesn't come close to generating that kind of revenue for their bighorn program. And so that's a real need, a real gap that we see, and that's what we try to fill.
It doesn't matter if you live in the city or out in the country. What matters is that we all do our part. It's not enough to talk loosely about conservation as a hunter. Take a look at what the Wild Sheep Foundation has achieved. We must band together for the common good of the animals we love so dearly. That's our calling and that's our duty. With public opinion on its side, nothing can fail. With public opinion against it, nothing can succeed. If we want to change public opinion on hunting, we must lead by example. Form an independent committee with a unified goal and spread the message of the positive role we hunters play in society. We can also do it through our attitude, our hard work and outward respect for the animals that we pursue. And also through on the ground field work like you've seen in this video. Until that becomes something we all do, every single day from the top down, our lifestyle and way of living will continue to be threatened by an ever sophisticated and fast paced society. I'm doing my part as best as I can and will continue to do so. My final question is this, what are you gonna do?